This is a painting I made later on in the in 78, 79. It's, this is the fourth dimensional hypercube. Like I explained before, I, fourth dimensional hypercube is eight cubes which are into each other. And I treat them, each, eight of the, each of the eight cubes I treat separately. Four of them are drawn in black and, and four of them drawn in, in light gray. And I show, like I showed over there, only what you see in the square window when each cube is in the zero position. So this becomes a combinatorial element. Since there are eight elements, I can combinatorially make them move, you know, what black is can be gray and so, and so forth. So there's a whole, like, I think 56 possibility I have, I don't know, I remember. But uh, because combinatoric is also something which is very interesting to me, because sometimes there is not one solution, but many solutions. But even the many solutions can be a defined number. So in this sense, combinatoric is a very exciting thing that's a, a quantity, but it's a defined quantity. And, and if you turn over there, this is part of the, when, before I went into the color, my last paintings, that means the form of the painting is defined by these white lines, which are diagonal paths, but they, it just becomes a, an envelope of the lines. So every time I take different lines, the form of the painting changes completely, becomes something else. It's a, you can see here, this is like, like the strip down idea. There's, there's a contour line, which is white, you know, and this is and, and the, the black and the gray is the supposed to be the white lines from over there. So that's a, a relief of the same idea. And, and just to go back to, to a, a systematic show, is this uh, diagonal path which I calculate <coughs> in the six dimensional hypercube? There are always 720 different path, passages you can go.